If you're going to spend a lot of time in front of your new Windows 7 PC, you might want to make it seem like home. Hi, I'm Dave Johnson, a writer on the Windows team, and for the next four minutes I'm going to show you how you can personalize your computer by changing your user picture, the desktop background and system sounds, and even make text more readable by changing the screen resolution. Now, when you open the Start menu, you've probably seen the user picture that's there. What you might not realize is that it's really easy to change that picture and make it reflect your own personality. To change it, just click the picture and then click Change Your Picture. Not only can you choose any of the images here, but if you click Browse for More Pictures, you can use any photo you like. So, I could make my account picture an actual photo of me, or say, one of my cat. Don't forget that you can change your picture as often as you want to. Another thing that you might like to change frequently is the desktop background, sometimes called the wallpaper. You might remember that on Windows XP, the background picture and screen resolution settings were in the same place in Display Properties. In Windows 7, we recognized that they're really different sorts of tasks, so we separated them. I think that changing the wallpaper is fun, so let's start with that. Right-click the desktop and choose Personalize. If all you want to do is change the desktop to a new image, click Desktop Background. You could find a photo that suits you, like this one, and save your changes. But here's something you won't find in your last version of Windows. Choose your picture library, and your background will become a slideshow of all your photos. You can save your changes, or get particular and select only certain photos to include in the slideshow, like I'm doing here. You can also use Window Color to change the color of desktop elements like the taskbar and window titles. You've also got a lot of choices about what sounds you hear. Click Sounds and you'll see this long list of sound schemes. To audition a particular scheme, pick one from the list, and then you can click the Test button to play the various sounds that occur when Windows wants to tell you something. After you've taken the time to select your wallpaper, window color, and system sounds, you can save them as a theme. That way you can change themes whenever you get tired of your desktop and you want to see and hear something different. Just save your theme and you'll find it here in My Themes whenever you want to use it. You can choose any of these existing themes and even download new ones from the internet. Now that the desktop looks the way you like, you might turn your attention to the resolution of your display. In Windows XP, you change your resolution to make text on the screen bigger and more readable. In Windows 7, there's a better way. Every monitor looks best at a certain resolution, called the native resolution. Now, if your monitor isn't set to that particular number, it might be really fuzzy or it might be stretched or squished. This can be really important if you have a flat panel or LCD display. Now, I know that this monitor isn't configured right because the circles aren't round. So let's make sure your monitor is set to the right resolution. Right-click the desktop and choose Screen Resolution. Windows should automatically detect the native resolution of your monitor, so drag the slider to the recommended setting. Now click OK and check the results. If your monitor can't display this resolution for some reason, don't worry. Just wait about 15 seconds and it'll go back to the way it was automatically. You don't have to do anything to fix it. But what if the text is now too small to read clearly and you'd like to make it bigger? Well, go back to the screen resolution window and click here. Choose one of these settings. This will scale your text, but leave the resolution at the best setting for photos and other graphics. If you ever have trouble reading text on the screen, come back here and change this setting. Want to learn more? Check out the guide for this video. It has a lot of additional information, including step-by-step -step instructions so you can explore Windows 7 on your own.